So we're going to talk about creativity, the origin of creativity, and um, how we can use AR in entirely new ways to create stuff, create experiences, and create uh, new learning uh, skills experiences. Um, I will demonstrate an app that does a lot of examples around this area, and um, I would want to, to emphasize that it's not the regular BTC business, and it's not a commercial app. It's just an innovation project we did as part of a special hackathon event. Uh, but all the, all the things you're going to see are based on the PTC technologies, the industrial uh, PTC uh, ThingWorks platform. Uh, namely, ThingWorks <coughs> Studio and ThingWorks View. If any of you are using these tools, feel free to talk to me later with questions because uh, everything I did was out of the box, but uh, there are some uh, nicks and uh, tips I can share with you. Okay. So let's take just a higher level look on uh, what resources were available for our disposal when we started to design this uh, special innovation app. Um, what we have for the AR app is sensory like camera and touch sensors. We have visualization in full scale or variant scale and true 3D. It's not an illusion of a true 3D on a screen. The HoloLens gate a true 3D experience and it's a wearable device. That's on the physical side. On the digital side, we have uh, digital constraints binded to the physical constraints in AR apps, and we have digital design graphics and audio, and of course, it's connected. Uh, the connectivity, of course, brings enormous stuff that uh, we don't even need to, to get into, but the convergence of everything together becomes something very realistic, very real, present, and uh, I would say alive. Now, this may remind you a logo of a particular company, and uh, it's just uh, uh, very much in parallel to PTC vision about IoT and AR. So now, specifically about the demo that illustrates all that, uh, again, we are talking about learning new skills and experiencing content. In this case, we are going to have a music tutorial mode that teaches anyone to play a piano with none whatsoever knowledge needed to get into playing a piano for the first time in your life. The second mode is music visualization. I know how to play, but I want to have a new experience while I'm playing. So the AR brings visualization for the music, and we see what, how we can play with that. This could be useful for an artist, or for a concert, or even for people with hearing disabilities that wants to know what's going on when there is a concert. Okay, so that's enough for the slides. I just want to mention my friends in Israel on the special hackathon team, Ze'ev, Michael, Erez, and special thanks to Metal Gispan. Okay, so we do a lab demo. I'm going to call David to assist me. He will use an iPad for a spectator view, and anything you see from his spectator view is what I see, just to clarify, with the HoloLens. Because the HoloLens is a 3D, or true 3D like we said earlier, so it's much more exciting. But I hope you get the idea. <coughs> hey, view. Scan. Okay, so we said there are two modes. We start with the tutorial mode. And of course, I don't have audio. Thank you. <laughs> if there are no issues, it's not a real demo. Okay, so now we can see this is the notes of the uh, Bach 
Perlude number one. It just lands nicely, precisely where I need to place, gives me an indication when, and I can also see ahead of what's going to be the next step, giving me confidence from the user experience perspective. So let me try to play the full song just a second so we see how it goes. So that was a tutorial mode, but we said we want to extend creativity and we have infinite ways to do that with AR. So, you know, one of the known friends of creativity is constraints, and with the HoloLens, if you try to have a lot of constraints, the, the view is scoped. So if I'm playing here, if I look at my hand, I cannot really see what's going on at the top. So we solve that with a different visualization. Let's switch to the different uh, experience. Have you? Might be the shadow. That's stuff. Okay, so this time the notes are coming horizontally and they do a little jump gesture to let me know I need to play. This was much more effective because even though I'm scoped and cropped with my view with the HoloLens, I see much more horizon and depth, so I can know what's going on and what are the next steps I need to do. Uh, just for the fun thing, I also created a Space Invader theme, just for the fun thing. <laughs> and these are actually the Pac-Man. These are the Pac-Man uh, monsters. Okay, so that was the, the music uh, tutorial mode. Of course, uh, I wanted to do much more stuff. I wanted to have an uh, octopus with many arms showing how to play chords and holding the lyrics with his other arm, but time was limited in our Akaton event. Uh, let's switch over to visualization mode. Now, you might notice that I'm using musical user interface. <laughs> Not fitting for everyone. Okay. Um, so now I'm, I know how to play. I want to have a special experience. <laughs> now you see how the velocity makes a difference. I can do it gently. This is just a cute thing, probably better for, for the player. Let's see something that may be more useful for sharing the audience. Activity, let's do something more artistic. I'm going to play a song. This interface, you know, music interface. This time each note is converted to an oil drop splashing on a virtual canvas. note has its own color and each player or individual does it a bit differently so you result with a different image next let me show the full spectrum of the notes so you get understanding of after this is the non ear painting from Van Gogh of course now each note highlights or make a spe specific portion visible and we can see the, the, the image differently using this <laughs> so if the music is painting the picture the funny thing is that 
once we see some object in the painting, we may want to expose them and then play a special note. That's where the music is driven from the image, which is interesting. Okay, light talk. I'm going to wrap up with the last demo. Uh, with a theme I created especially for a special song that has a lot to do with the, I would say, creative state of mind. I would like to use a different piano for that. It goes like... Mm -hmm. 